Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and if you've been following the English Shooting Facebook page and Facebook group, you would have seen that I've been very busy this week or certainly this weekend constructing the X-Carve. I obviously uh, touched on Novus, the new company that I'm starting uh, and the X-Carve that's basically gonna start the company and I've been busy trying to build that and get that ready and I've been putting a lot of my time into that business at the moment, which has unfortunately left me with uh, not as much time as I would usually have to do a video. So I thought I would do a short but sweet one today. But don't worry, I've got some amazing videos that I'm in the processes of editing. They're gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm gonna be visiting Northwest Custom Parts very soon to test a new shotgun that's gonna be coming out uh, to the UK market and also give you a tour uh, of Wayne's premises. It just, it's like gun heaven in there. Certainly AR-15 heaven, it's absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm gonna have the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, just to let you guys know a little bit more of a sneak peek, I'm gonna be doing 10 days worth of giveaways for that. I thought 10,000 subscribers, 10 days of giveaways. So there's gonna be 10 chances to win some really cool prizes. But on to today's video, and you might be a little confused by the title. Now, obviously we always cover the traditional firearms, rifles, pistols, shotguns, but obviously there's other sort of firearms and, and weaponry that uh, is associated with the gun community cannons being one of them and the cannon is actually a very interesting uh, topic within the UK because they are actually legal to own in the UK and they actually come under a shotgun certificate funny enough. Now this is because of the wording within the UK firearms law. Now the short definition of a shotgun is a smoothbore gun with barrels no shorter than 24 inches and a bore diameter no greater than two inches. So as long as something confines to those rules, and obviously there's all the uh, capacity and action stuff that separates it between section one FAC and section two SDC, but if we just talk about single shot shotguns for the moment, which goes on an SGC, uh, a cannon is basically a single shot shotgun. No matter which way you want to look at it, it's got a smooth bore uh, and a varying diameter depending on what size of cannon you want to go on. So if you can get a cannon that's at least 24 inches or has a barrel of at least 24 inches and has a bore diameter of under two inches, you can actually put it under a shotgun certificate within the UK. And this isn't a theoretical thing, People do this, and I've actually shown cannons on the channel at gun shows previously. I think it was the Phoenix show a couple of years ago. There was somebody trying to sell a cannon, and we were just going, oh, it's a prop or it's a DAC. He said, no, it's on a SGC. If you've got an SGC, you can buy this and walk away with it today. How the hell I would get it in my safe, I do not know. More recently, I actually went to the Botley Mill uh, gun shop and they actually had a cannon there. I took a picture of it and put it on the English shooting Facebook group and a few people said well that's that's madness that just must be a, a prop that must be a D act that must be decoration but no I talked to the guy it was actually a customers that they were looking after he couldn't get it in his safe so he had nowhere to store it and he was you know giving it to the gun shop to look after for him. So people do buy cannons people do own cannons within the UK. And although for myself I don't have any general interest of cannons, but there's a lot of people within the UK and across the world that have interest in you know, military uh, and uh, historical battles where cannons were used. And actually I think it's pretty cool that within the UK, even though we are heavily restricted, these people can still own a piece of history and own a cannon. That's legal to store in your house. You can take it out on your own land and shoot it, obviously as long as your land's big enough. I don't think your local clay ground is gonna sort of think too highly of you taking your, your shotgun cannon down there. But if you've got a large enough bit of land, you've got the safe, you've got a shotgun certificate, and you can find a cannon that has a barrel over 24 inches and a bore diameter under two inches, and it's smooth bore, you're good to go. Now the joke has been made that an Englishman's home is his castle. And I think every ca castle, every proper castle, 
definitely needs a cannon. Maybe that's why they left it in there. I think really this is a prime example of how complex our laws are um, and how tricky they can, they can be to interpret and how open to interpretation these laws are. Of course, these laws were, they were never meant to include cannons. They were only meant to focus on shotguns, but actually when you break it down, a cannon isn't too dissimilar in terms of the barrel and you know, construction, smooth bore, length, all that sort of stuff, isn't too dissimilar. And that's why you get these slight oddities. And it can be incredibly difficult to get your way around it. And you can talk to one person who thinks one thing and one person that thinks another. The upside for us is that we get to have cannons. So there you go, guys, a short but sweet video. As I said, I'm sorry that I couldn't do a proper big video today, but I've got plenty of really cool videos to come and really cool stuff to come, which I'm gonna be keeping you updated on the English Shooting Facebook group and page. If you haven't liked the page or you're not a member of the group, I'll put a link in the description below. Go on those pages and you're going to get all the updates. If you wanna see me struggling to build the X-Carve, I'll keep putting pictures of that up if you wanna see it. And obviously updates with Novus, updates with the giveaway, I think as I speak, I'm like 10 subscribers away, which is just absolutely madness. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you soon.